Leak code problem number 26. Remove duplicates from a sorted array. Given a sorted array of nums, remove the duplicates in place such that each element appears only once and returns the new length. Do not allocate extra space for another array. You must do this by modifying the input array in place with big O of 1 extra memory. Here is the example sorted array with repeated digits. We pass this array into our remove duplicates function. Here is our remove duplicates method taking an array of integers. First we test for our edge case if the array is empty. So we check if the length of the array is equal to zero. And if it is equal to zero, then we return zero. Next we get a reference to the first digit in the array to compare to the rest of the array. Then we create a new index that will be used for the index of the new array once we remove the duplicates. In this case, the new array is simply a section of the current array with the length of non-repeated digits. So here we loop through the rest of the array starting at i equals 1 and go to the length of the array. Now on each iteration we check that the previous unique integer is equal to the current integer. In this case they are equal at index 1, so we just continue the loop. Once we reach an integer that does not match, such as index 2, which is 1, then we increase our current index, and then we place the value at that index in the array. So now index 1 has the value of 1, and now our new previous value is 1. Once we loop through the entire array, we will see that a section of the array at the beginning of the array will have our non-repeated digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we can return our current index plus 1 to get the length of the new array. Thus here, when we look at the original array and loop through the length that we returned from our method, we print out an array of non-repeated digits. As you can see here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, just as we expected. And that's about it for removing duplicates from a sorted array. Please note that the time complexity of this method is big O of n, because we're using a single loop with two indexes, so our worst case is 2n and we have a space complexity of big O of 1 because we are only allocating constant extra space. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.